Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar, Health and Safety Risk Reductions Using Prefabricated Concrete Formwork Systems. My name is Jessica Bunting, and I'm the CPWR host and uh, sort of tech support for this event. So before we get started, I'm just going to go over a few things. First of all, if you have any technical problems with the webinar or the phone system, please contact me um, either through your chat box or at jbunting at cpwr.com, or you can simply respond to any of the WebEx emails that you've received about this event. That information is also in your chat boxes right now. <clears throat> if you are listening to the audio portion of the event through your computer and experience any lag or difficulty hearing the speakers, I recommend that you use your phone to call in instead for improved sound quality. And that call-in information can be found in your email or on your event info tab to the left of the presentation on your webinar screen. We will take some time at the end of the presentation to answer questions. So since your phones and microphones are all muted through the system, you can enter any questions into the chat or Q&A boxes at any time during the presentation, and then I will read the questions out loud at the end. And finally, today's webinar is being recorded, so if you're interested in reviewing or sharing the information with colleagues, I will make that available to everyone after the event. Our presenters today are Babak Mamarian and uh, Chris Lee, and Babak is our Director of uh, Exposure Control Technologies and Research here at CPWR. He uh, has a PhD in Construction Engineering and Management and expertise in high reliability production systems, specifically safety, productivity, and error management. Chris uh, comes to us with a master's in public health with an emphasis in biostats and epidemiology. He is our program manager of safety and health research, and he's also the person who runs the construction solutions database and website, which you will be hearing about today. And with that, I will hand it over to Bobak. Uh, thanks, Jessica. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Babak Nemari. I'm uh, Director of Exposure Control Technologies Research at uh, CPWR. Thanks for joining us today uh, for our webinar. Uh, today, uh, my colleague Chris Lee and I will have a brief overview of prefabrication in the construction industry to see what benefits and what challenges we have uh, using prefabrication techniques in the construction. Uh, and also, and then Chris will uh, uh, walk us through the uh, website, uh, and he will present two of our newest uh, developed and released solutions on prefabricated uh, concrete formwork systems that we recently developed and released on our uh, construction solutions website. So, and then uh, at the end, Chris will show how to locate a solutions for a specific situation. <laughs> And as uh, Jessica mentioned, we will, uh, since we have a short and uh, short presentation today, we will hold all the questions to the end of the session. Uh, prefabrication and modular systems. Uh, so, with the uh, prefabrication and modular systems are considered as a prevention through design approach uh, to reduce water exposure to safety hazards. So we encourage all the designers, architects, you know, to think a little more about it, you know, as a preventive approach to minimize a worker's exposure to safety hazards using traditional uh, methods. We will briefly also talk about uh, the contribution of these techniques to uh, productivity and quality of projects in the construction. Uh, so uh, in line with Lean construction concept, you know, we try always to minimize the waste uh, in the construction operations, and we try to reduce the non-value adding activities, the activities that do not add uh, any value to the end product, which is the buildings, which is the infrastructure, you know, whatever the end product is. So we try to minimize all these waste and non-value uh, adding activities. From quality perspective, we will discuss that, you know, how prefabrication and modular systems would help us reduce the likelihood of error uh, from workers' perspective. You know, we should try to reduce the likelihood of mistakes uh, on the job site. So, as you know, these uh, errors and mistakes can be translated into production and quality defects 
and uh, also safety incidents, and also we'll discuss how we, uh, how we reduce the amount of rework at the end of the uh, presentations today. So, as you know, uh, unlike the other industries, like other industries, so construction work site cannot be well controlled. You know, in other industry, we have a very well controlled work environment, but in the construction, it is not uh, easy to do that. And that is because of the dynamic characteristics of the construction projects and a constantly changing work environment. So uh, this, inter this introduces a lot of, uh, you know, hazards that we may not face in other industries. So it is very important for us to uh, transfer all or at least some part of our operations from the construction sites where we may not have enough control to some manufacturing type settings where we have uh, and where we can uh, implement uh, a stronger and more effective uh, uh, controls. So prefabrication is one of these uh, techniques that we use to to transfer uh, uh, this, uh, some part of our operations to the manufacturing setting. So the goal is simply to reduce the worker exposure to safety hazards. So, and when we, uh, when we work in a, a manufacturing settings like production lines, so we have more effective and stronger safety measures to control and limit, the, uh, limit workers' exposure to hazards. So, Simply by using prefabrication and modular systems, we try to contribute to workers' health and safety. <clears throat> uh, we have a lot of examples of prefabrication that we'll discuss some of them today, like uh, uh, prefabricated concrete formwork system, and uh, both for the horizontal work and vertical work in the concrete uh, operation. By using prefabrication, so we have a we try to reduce the need, uh, we try to reduce the exposure to hazards health. Simply, you know, when we do these things in a shop, in a production shop, you know, on the job site, so our workers will need to operate power tools less and less every day. Uh, so this contributes a lot to their safety because, you know, they have less exposure to hazards like fall from elevation, struck by power tools. Let's suppose in a traditional, uh, formwork system building. So a worker needs to measure, cut two by fours and nail them together to assemble a formwork. So we see that they are exposed to a lot of hazards. But when we use a prefabricated method, so a lot of these hazards are eliminated and we transfer all these activities to the back of the screen where, uh, where we work at the production shop. So that is another uh, benefit of using prefabrication and modular systems in the construction industry. Uh, <clears throat> another concept that I would like to discuss today is uh, how this prefabrication and modular or and using modular systems uh, reduces workers' task demand and how these things uh, are translated into less hazards. So as I discussed uh, you know, by using prefabrications, workers will need to operate uh, power tools less. So, which means that uh, we try to minimize the exposure to a uh, musculoskeletal disorder uh, hazards. And by that, so we are, uh, from an ergonomic perspective, we are trying to help our workers. But what mental demand means here? So when we have prefabricated components on the job site, uh, workers are not doing much of uh, fabrication activities and instead they are doing a lot more installation. So, which means they have more standardized work cycle. They know how much time they need and they will do very few activities compared to fabrication. So installations will have just few uh, activities. With that, so they need to learn few items, but in more depth. So this will help our workers make less mistakes. So, and then we reduce the likelihood of errors, which means we are controlling rework in our project. And as you know, rework is just a waste. And in lean construction, we try to minimize the waste and minimize the rework because rework means just uh, double utilizing our resources, project resources from time perspective. Time is money, so we are losing a lot of time. 
And also, we need to send back our workers to the job site to fix the defective parts. So, and when they are trying to remove and fix the defective parts, they are, again, exposed to the safety hazards unnecessarily. So, that is another uh, contribution to our workers' health and safety. Um, similar to, uh, to other industries, when we use a prefabrication systems and modular systems, so we are shifting the focus from human subjects to more equipment, which means when we use this system, we need uh, to use more mechanical equipment like tower crane, when, you, when we need to lift heavy or sometimes oversized components, uh, we, need to, we need to use tower cranes more than, you know, the traditional type uh, project. So this is another a contribution to workers' uh, safety because we are trying to reduce the manual handling and uh, to reduce a lot of uh, manual works during the project. And also from a cost effectiveness perspective, these components are reusable. So sometimes we may need to spend and invest a little more upfront, you know, in the beginning of the project, which is a little more expensive than the traditional uh, methods, but over the time, you know, because these components are reusable, we can use them over and over, and that helps us save uh, money. Plus, it, uh, it also uh, reduces the number of non-value activities, as we discussed earlier today. Why, why and how? When we use these components, as they are reusable, so our workers don't need to do a lot of activities over and over. Again, back to that, uh, traditional uh, timber formwork systems. And let's suppose uh, on a 10 story building, a carpenter needs to build this formwork over and over, and then they remove them from one floor to move to the next one. We see a lot of these formwork, uh, uh, they get broken and they, they need to do it again. So, which means we are again uh, increasing the exposure to a lot of hazards, and then we still need to run the power tools like handheld saw and nailed on over and over. So with that, we are replacing those uh, uh, old methods with something new which is reusable and which uh, eliminates a lot of unnecessary activities on the job site. Uh, here I have an example of uh, one of these prefabricated uh, components in the real world. So these are the huge uh, elevated aluminum tables uh, that are used uh, for concrete uh, slabs, you know, for horizontal work in, the con in concrete operations. So instead of, you know, uh, building timber formwork, so these tables are uh, manufactured in the, in the shop and based on the layout of the project, and they're shipped to the job site and using tower crane, they're just rigged and placed uh, at, the, at the location, and then when they're set, uh, the concrete pouring crew can start pouring concrete simply. So that is one example that, uh, you know, that accelerates the project is, uh, a lot, you know, compared to the traditional method. So from quality perspective, it is cleaner, very, very small chance for mistake by workers, and also workers do not need uh, do not need to do a lot of unnecessary activities over and over. So we see that, you know, we have these uh, prefabricated concrete formwork systems both for the horizontal work and also uh, at the bottom of the page, if you can see that the uh, vertical um, formwork for the uh, concrete walls. Uh, and here, now, here are some other examples for uh, sh uh, aluminum shoring. They are quick pop shoring, you know, instead of cutting and using two by fours for reshoring the concrete slabs, you know, if they're before and after pouring. So, and here a worker can simply set up the shorings and they're lightweighted, they're easy to set up, and they are reusable. So, they can use it over and over for the other uh, parts of the project. Without the need, you know, and they don't, and they no longer need to uh, make these components again. Similar to other approaches, similar to other new technologies, when we get a new technology, so with all benefits, we should uh, we should admit some challenges as well. So, 
here, uh, when we use in, uh, when we use prefabrication and modular systems in the construction industry, sometimes as we see in the pictures uh, that they show, um, these components may come in very large sizes and they are heavy and they are not so to be able to use them on the job site. So we need to we need to rely a little more on you know equipment like tower crane to rig and set up these tables. So. Again, we are reducing the manual material handling. We are reducing a lot of manual activities and replacing those with some mechanical equipment, which is faster and which uh, has less safety uh, and safety risks for the workers. And also another thing that we need to consider similar to other industries, like other industries, we need to, uh, we need to have a very strong quality control system in place off stream, which means before we ship any component from the shop to the job site, it must be completely controlled from quality perspective to make sure that we are not sending any defective part to the job site. So that is another thing that we have to consider, you know, when we are, uh, when we use prefabrication uh, systems. And to minimize the transportation uh, and to minimize the risk of transportation, one idea would be, you know, uh, minimizing the distance between the production shops uh, with the construction site, especially for the larger projects uh, the, that uh, the contractor or the owner of the project uh, can think about it. So with that, I conclude uh, this, the first part of the uh, presentation, and uh, Chris Lee uh, will uh, show, us, show up our new solutions. Uh, about a prefabricated uh, concrete framework system, and he will walk us through the steps uh, of uh, construction solutions database. Thanks, Chris. Hello, everyone. So now that Babak has covered some of the technical aspects, uh, let me now demonstrate how a user like you can find these types of prefabricated concrete formwork systems, among many other safety solutions in our free to use uh, construction solutions database. Um, this is pretty much a website that compiles construction safety products and information all in one place in which the content is organized in a manner that users like construction workers can naturally search by the construction work and tasks that they perform. And organizing it this way just allows them to also potentially discover and learn about other hazards or safety solutions that they may have not been previously been aware of in their line of work. So most of the solutions you see in this database are just meant to be quick reference summaries written by university researchers, um, as you can see uh, some on the right-hand side of the slide, and uh, consultant groups. Uh, my job is to mainly help organize most of the content that goes live on the site. So although we may not be able to provide the technical answers to certain product specifications, we provide links to the resources on the right side of each solution page for users to access and learn more about. So just a quick mention on how this database was developed. Back in 2008, NIOSH developed a publication called Simple Solutions, which only highlighted 20 ergonomic safety solutions that could help reduce musculoskeletal injuries. Now, because NIOSH was not allowed to publicly mention commercial manufacturers, CPWR then took those 20 solutions and mapped it out uh, by construction work and tasks that these solutions belong in, as well as include a list of commercial sites where users can make a purchase. Since then, this database has broken out and expanded beyond the focus of ergonomics with more than 250 solutions, and the database is still growing. Uh, for example, we're currently in the process of adding more solutions to address electrical hazards, uh, which we're working with the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and uh, we're also uh, including more solutions on the new and the hot topic of engineered nanomaterials. Uh, and all of this is uh, coming up this month. Lastly, I want to note that you may not see all manufacturers listed for a particular solution, 
as it's difficult to include a comprehensive list of every product that is out there. However, at a minimum, we still strive to provide a representative list, and we certainly make new additions to the list as they're brought to our attention. So the purpose of my portion of the webinar is just to give you a demonstration on how a user can find our two solutions on prefabricated concrete formwork systems. Now, shifting from this PowerPoint to a screen share, you should be able to see the Construction Solutions homepage right about now. Okay. So first, a brief introduction to our site. Next to our logo, in which you can click on anytime, anywhere on the site to return to this homepage, you have a simple search function to find hazards and solutions based on the keywords you input. Next, if I could guide your attention to the mid screen right here, this is our section where we feature new or trending solutions. And you will notice the three featured solutions that a user can quickly view without having to navigate the database using these three buttons up here. So for our demonstration today, we have featured both of our prefabricated uh, concrete formwork system solutions as the shortcuts. So if you click on view solution, it will take you straight to it. So <clears throat> let's now familiarize ourselves with what a solution page contains. Arriving to any solutions will take you to a solution, solution summary page like this. Next to the picture uh, on the right is a bold sentence that will quickly describe what the solution addresses. The risk address section right here summarizes what the risks are when building traditional formwork systems. So here you'll have fall risk when workers are required to construct guardrails at heights, as uh, Baba touched upon earlier. You have risks of tool injuries from being struck by falling tools or handling tools while building t timber formwork, as well as musculoskeletal injuries from the manual material handling while lifting the timber components and such. Next, in the following section, how risks are reduced, summarizes how the solution works in eliminating or reducing the hazard. So for example, it briefly describes that the risk of falls may be reduced because prefabricated concrete formwork systems have proactive designs that integrate guardrails on the perimeter of the panels before they are raised and placed. And this eliminates the need for workers to construct guardrails at heights as they would do in traditional formwork systems. So in all, everything in this summary is meant to be short and straight to the point until you click on the additional information uh, button below. But before I do so, I want to guide your attention to the right column where you will see the availability header. Underneath it, you can find some of the manufacturers that we have identified selling prefabricated concrete former systems. And again, it's not meant to be a comprehensive list of all existing manufacturers, but nevertheless, still a good representat representation of some of the commercially available choices out there that contractors and co uh, workers can consider. So if you click on one, you'll be taken to the manufacturer's product page to learn more about it and potentially make a purchase. So for example, here's the Perry Group's line of products that pertain specifically to column formwork systems. And it seems that each of them probably have varying characteristics for certain products in which you guys can explore at your own leisure. So if we go back to our website, if you click on additional information, you can expand this condensed solution page to get more general details. So uh, for instance, uh, right here, this detailed description section just gives you the overall summary of the general components found in prefab wall and column formwork systems and how they are generally assembled. And of course, each products vary and may have special features and assembly instructions. So it's always best to check back with the manufacturer for one of, for one's project needs. And in some cases, these formwork systems may be customized as well. And uh, risk address and how risks are reduced were sections we just uh, discussed earlier, so we can skip this. Under the effects on productivity is information that pertains to how using these prefab formwork systems affect productivity, in which you can imagine positively. So here we have a reference uh, 
study by Bobek, and you can read more about that. And finally, if you scroll down to the additional consideration sections, this section may list factors that must be taken in, into account when implementing a solution. So for in this case, it's worth to mention a disclaimer that using prefabricated concrete formwork systems may still pose the risk of struck by injuries when rigging panels, um, swinging struck by injuries, that is, by the cranes. And also, you can see that it provides some general guidance of meeting guardrail requirements, which you could explore by clicking on one of our other solutions, guardrails. And we also have OSHA reference materials that gives you safety and health regs uh, pertaining to formwork. So now that you have an idea of what a solution looks like, let's return to the home page. To wrap up this presentation, I'm now going to quickly show how you can find a solution through our filter navigation menu, and if you prefer a more methodical approach in your search. So once you select all of these three, you get to the hazard description page that presents the relevant solutions for these three particular selections. So we'll begin by clicking line of work, which you can think of as trades or work categories. And doing so will give you these 15 lines of work choices in which any one you click will present you a list of relevant tasks. So just to show you real quick where the solutions were organized, uh, you'll be able to access them under reinforced concrete. Then we'll select the build traditional formwork, which will bring us to these 10 potential hazards a worker may face when performing this task. And we have already identified and linked our prefabricated formwork solutions to address the hazards fall from heights, um, cuts and punctures from tools and materials, um, lifting and carrying, and struck by objects. So let's click on fall from heights. <clears throat> so for example, clicking on this will give us the general hazard analysis about falls in construction. Um, a hazard analysis like this page, uh, like this one right here, usually precedes a solution page in which you can find on the left-hand side, as you can see right here. So you could, no, you notice that we also organize our solutions by the types of uh, controls, uh, the hierarchies of controls. So to bring our session to a full close, let's click on the other prefabricated formwork system. And here it is. While the other one mainly focused on walls and vertical components, uh, this solution slightly differs in that its main focus is formwork systems for slabs. So with that said, we'd like to conclude this presentation and thank you all for attending this session. And we'll be happy to take any questions or you can just feel free to email us your question. Thank you. Thank you, Chris and Bobbitt. Uh, does anyone have any questions? All right. Doesn't look like we have any questions. Thank you all for the kind comments. Um, if anyone does have a question at a later date, feel free to email any of us. Um, and I will be sending out a recording of the webinar um, in case you want to refer back to it um, or if you want to share it with any of your colleagues. Thanks again for joining. Thank you. Thank you so much.